Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. I'm all irritated, okay? It's a whole new day. Not too, too bad though, I can't complain, but we do have a little bit of a outbreak of sorts, but we're dealing with it. I just put on some moisturizer and everything, so yeah. Anyway, it's afternoon and Ann got all washed up and everything. Come on, Ann. You guys saw in yesterday's vlog, we did some braids in her hair, so we just did a little half up, half down situation. She seems to really be liking it. Come this way, mommy, come on. We're just about to get dressed, but I stopped and I said, wait, I wanna show them something. So you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, that Ann and I partnered with Fashion Nova this season. We got a bunch of their mommy and me matching sets, and you guys saw a lot of the posts that I created with us dressed alike and all that. If you haven't, check out my Instagram and you will see. But today, I just wanted to show you guys some of the kitty clothes that I got for Ann to kind of broaden her wardrobe array a little bit more. So we did pick up a few pieces from Fashion Nova. We didn't buy these pieces. They did send them to us for free so that we could promote them on my YouTube channel and my Instagram page. So I have to just be straightforward and direct about the fact that these are gifts. But I wanted to try it all on and show you guys what this stuff looks like and then I will put all the links below. You ready to see how this stuff looks on? You ready to see? <laughs> Okay, look at you. Okay, so this is the first one you guys It's a leopard two-piece little Track set, but the top is kind of cropped and come over here How cute so yeah, like I said, it's a little bit cropped it has pockets girl and you know what? I feel like this would be cute with some nice little booties or whatever or some Sneakers, if you will. So that's outfit one. Okay, let's take a look at the second one, Ann. Look at you, Ann. Okay, so this second one is another two piece set. Come back, Ann. It says over it on the sleeve here, and I kind of like that you can see the stitching. It's kind of a nice little effect. It looks so comfy, Ann, and it's a little bit cropped. A lot of the stuff um, from the Fashion Nova Mommy and Me stuff is a little bit cropped. So I know a lot of moms are not really into that look, but I think it's fun. It's something fun and different. But yeah, just keep that in mind that it, a lot of it is cropped. So Ann seems to like it. It's really comfy too, you guys. I like the materials. And we've washed a few things and they haven't shrunk or anything like that, so it's not bad quality. Okay, here's the next look. Also cropped with pockets, and then we have a little bit of a bell leg, straight leg at the bottom. This one's kind of cute. We don't love it because it's kind of ill-fitting. As you can see, the pants are a little bit gapped in the back. So we don't really love this one. She probably wouldn't wear this anywhere, but this is cool for in the house. She's singing and dancing, y'all. And also, Ann is in a size uh, 5T, and I think these sizes are the fives. All right, so this next look is the little ripped, damaged denim look with the cuffed bottoms. Look, Ann. And then the sweatshirt says, what does it say on the front? It says, don't try. Let me see, Ann. Y'all, she likes to spend time in her little mirror over here. Check her out. Check her out, girl. But yeah, we like the um, the jeans. They fit really nice. Yeah, these fit really nice all the way from the waist down to the ankle. The sweatshirt is cute, but it's a little ill-fitting up towards the shoulder area. I feel like the neck is a little too wide. And um, But otherwise, though, it's very soft and nice on the inside, and I think um, that Ann likes the way that feels on her skin. Let me see, Mommy. This is definitely a look that she could wear to school and be very comfy, so I'll say Mommy approved. This one's Mommy approved. I think she really likes it. She's in the mirror a lot with it. Okay, she seems to really like this one. She's trying to pull the, the crop top down. This is very, very comfy, you guys. And I like the colors. No, no, I would no. definitely consider this more like lounge wear, but she, you could wear this out. And I like the little tie in the front. Let's tuck this down right here. Very, very comfy, you guys. And you know, even though it's cropped, I really like that all the pants on a lot of these seem to be high waist, so it kind of like tones it down a little bit. But I think with these outfits, you guys, it's more so like for pictures and like to be cute and to you know have the mommy and me matching look to it. Not necessarily like just sending them out in the world with this on. I think it's all about the effect of it and it's all about like the cuteness and all that. So I really like this one. I feel like she would wear this one again. You like it, Ann? You like it? Somebody likes it. Oh, you want me to pick you up? Let's try on one more. Okay, this is the final one. This is so cute. It's got the little, and and wait, and wait, wait. It's got the wide leg pants and the little crop top. This is definitely a yes for loungewear. 
You look so cute, Anne. And honestly, I think I would let her wear this like in the summer. Like we were going to the park or just like hanging out, going to dinner or something as a family. I think I would let her wear this. This would look so cute with a little afro. And do you like it? Do you like it? I think she likes it. It's super comfy, you guys. I really like the stretchy material of it. And like I said, it's got the high waist. So it's really adorable. Turn this way, mommy. Let's see the front. Let's see the front. Come on. <laughs> Her little belly out. It's kind of fun. Yeah, so that's our little try on haul, girl. I think Anne is not a huge fan of the belly tops. If you, as you guys noticed, she kept pulling it down because in her mind, she's like, the shirt is too short. <laughs> so she's not a huge fan of the belly tops, but I think in the summertime when it's hot, she will appreciate that more. So anyway, like I said, I'll put the links below if you guys are interested in buying any of these items for a gift for someone or maybe for your own child. I will say I'm not a huge fan of the belly crop top situation. That's not something I would normally buy for Anne, but we wanted to try something new and the brand was so kind as to send us these items so we thought we'd try them on for you guys. Let me know what y'all think below. Hey, I'm in Menards. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I am looking for some essential items to get an air filter but I'm also looking for some kind of padding for Sansa's roping situation her labor pool so I'm thinking there's got to be something in here that I can use for cushion you know that's basically that's what we've been doing today getting everything set up for that hello I have a quick question if you could help me out um, I'm looking for like some kind of padding. Uh, I'm trying to use it for my dog, for her to lay on. Just like some padding, like it's got to be like five feet. Like, she's she's gonna go on labor, and I need to be able to just put something down this like a, a like maybe five feet round because it's like she's gonna do it in a pool. So I'm just looking for some kind of padding, some kind of insulation or something that I could use for that purpose. I might want something uh, maybe in flooring or. Ah, uh, I need to look in flooring. Not That's garden, what I need to do. Uh, Grocery, we might have something there too, or possibly even building materials. He was like, what is this girl asking me for? Yeah, I'll just get like a big rug or something. Well, even though he thought I was crazy, he gave me a good idea to look over here. Where's that stuff that you would put like under the carpet? That would probably work. Let me look for that. Let me look for the stuff you would put underneath the carpet. Okay, y'all, I'm back from Menards. Those people were looking at me like I was crazy in there. I didn't care though this time. I had my camera out. I'm just like, you know, somebody just gonna have to tell me. Cause I'm pulling my camera out. Like it's Vlogmas. I'm trying to, you know, capture some real life content. But yeah, girl, they were looking at me like I was crazy. I was like, oh, okay. Here's the little gypsy lady. What are you doing, gypsy lady? What are you doing, gypsy? What are you doing? The gypsy lady. All right, so me and the big guy are headed downstairs to get everything set up. And I'm gonna show y'all what we've done so far. And then I'll kind of take you guys with us as we set up this thing. So this is what I ended up getting, the uh, carpet padding, which I think is a really good idea because it's inexpensive and then, you know, it'll be a throwaway. So once we use it, we'll just throw it away, you know, with all the mess that'll be presumably in the pool. So that's, a, that's an affordable solution. It was only $25 for the six feet. And I just picked up a new air filter for the house. That's all. All right, let's go downstairs, babe. And then when we come back, I'm gonna um, start dinner. Oh, the uh, tacos. My favorite part. That's right, yeah. She's still outside? All right, heading down into the dungeon. Oh, it smells so nice. Y'all, Anthony was down here all day cleaning, making sure it was all sanitary down here. So this is, girl, our basement. Our basement is kind of a mess, but this is kind of like our little storage area over here with all our crap. We will get all of this together once we uh, finish the basement down here, which will be happening hopefully very soon. But this is the area where we're deciding to um, have Sansa give birth because uh, we don't want to do it over by the door because it could be kind of drafty. We want to keep the puppies nice and warm. So this is the pool that we ordered off of Amazon. This is the pool we ordered off of Amazon. It's about five feet in width across, like diameter. So this is a pretty good amount of space, I'm thinking, for Sansa to be able to spread out and for the puppies to be able to spread out a little bit. This is not her whelping box. We ordered that thing and it hasn't delivered yet. 
we do have a backup plan in case we run into uh, shipping issues with the holiday and stuff but we do have a whelping box. This is just the area where she's gonna give birth. And this is a doggy pool. So this is what you would give your big dog a bath in. So we figure this would be the best choice. And then yeah, pre-cut carpet area, rug pad. So it's basically just this really soft, cushiony material. This is six feet. This thing is five feet. So we're just gonna kind of cut it down to fit inside. We might not even have to cut it. We might just be able to just throw it right down. But we brought scissors just in case. We have our reptile lamp down here ready to go. We also brought in some of these um, camping chairs so we can kind of just sit down here with her. Because you guys know this can take hours. We got a bunch of towels, throwaway towels, of course. We got these from the dollar store. And then um, a garbage bag randomly. Baby, you gotta get those uh, gloves. You got some? Okay. A couple of you guys have pointed out that um, you know breeders or what have you who have done this multiple times and you have not seen them with like so many materials and you know all the stuff that we bought from Petsmart and all that stuff. And in those very fortunate instances, you guys, yes, the moms, the you know the female is in control and she's able to you know have all of her puppies survive and she's able to feed all of them and she's able to lick them clean and get all of the fluid out of their breathing passageways and all that. In those very fortunate situations, yes, that does happen. And yes, those female dogs are equipped naturally to be able to do that, but in some unfortunate cases where there are more puppies than there are nipples, where the puppies are a little bit aggressive and they're stopping some of the other puppies from being able to feed or nurse. And then in some of those instances where the dog has like anxiety issues and ends up, you know, accidentally hurting one of the puppies, laying on one of the puppies. Also where maybe the dog becomes a little bit exhausted and can't fulfill all of the duties that she's supposed to naturally be able to fulfill. That is when the humans can intervene, um, but they have to know how to intervene, but they do intervene to kind of help that mom out. Those times where, you know, the dog is running out of gas, you know, she's exhausted and she can't properly cut the umbilical cord or whatever. All these different things that can happen and go wrong. So that's why you guys see us with all of this stuff because we're just trying to be prepared in case things go wrong. But we would love to be able to report that everything goes perfectly smooth and that we didn't have to intervene and we just kind of could just sit there and watch nature take its course. But in those very unfortunate instances, humans do need to intervene just like when humans give birth, sometimes doctors have to intervene. So that's just kind of the way it is, but hopefully Sansa will be able to just kind of do this thing, but we will see. Baby. Okay, so let's see how this thing works. Padding, so it's the softest surface you're gonna get for the floor. Maybe sounds will be more comfortable, we'll see. But we're gonna lay the towels on top, right? And then we also have these scraps, you guys, so if we do need some areas where we need to build up more cushion, we can just use the scraps for that. Okay, now we're just gonna lay the towels down. Dollar store towels. <laughs> Whatever works, babe. <laughs> you don't wanna put no Ralph Lauren towels down. Not at all. Should we start letting Sansa like sleep in this? Yep. Okay. It was kind of good to just set up her little birthing area here because she's already quite comfortable down here. Is she coming down? She's headed upstairs. This is your this is your area, Sansa. You're gonna be you're gonna be in this thing. It's almost time. You gave her a treat. She smelled like some Come, some, some smoked meat. <laughs> Come on, Sansa, let's place. Come here, Sansa. Maybe we should get in there with her. Come on, Come on Sansa. She got in earlier. 
Oh, she did. Come here. Sansa. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Good girl, Sansa. Good girl. Good girl. See, it's nice and soft. Sit. Down. Day. Good girl, Sansa. Are you comfortable in this thing? I hope so. She's not super comfortable. You can tell because she's not really fully laying down. So we're going to have to hang out down here to get her comfortable in this thing. Because I would hate for her to go in one of these corners and be like, I'm gonna give birth in this corner on the on the hard floor. She's gotta she's gotta be able to come in here and do it. Yeah, it's definitely enough room. It's, this is a good amount of space. See that was the other thing. We just wanted to do like a, a um what do you call it? Like a like a dress rehearsal, you know, and see like make sure she could fit and make sure it was soft. And now I'm just at the point just trying to make sure that she's comfortable and that she'll naturally just come in here. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the thing. Making sure that she comes in here. You gonna be comfortable in here, Sansa? She's like, what are you humans up to? You guys are acting weird. What are you up to? <laughs> We're trying to make sure you're gonna have a comfortable delivery, Sansa. Look at those look at those eyes. They're in my pocket. You need them? What, the bandana? Yeah. <laughs> so far she's very comfortable, guys. She looks like she might take a little nap. comfortable too in our camping chairs all right I guess I'll go upstairs and make us something to eat so I'm hungry I'll check on Ann you guys stay down here for a little bit all right Sansa I'm heading upstairs you're good you're good Good, Sansa. <laughs> Came upstairs and I see that Anne has destroyed a Christmas ornament. Anne, I'm not happy, you little gypsy. I'm not happy, little gypsy. Oh, and before I forget, yes, yesterday when I went to Walmart, I did find the Mr. Potato Head man and woman. I saw them as soon as I walked into the store. So thank you all for um, suggesting that I go to Walmart for these because we got them and we're loving them. Isn't that right, Ann? 